All right, here we're at defensive coordinator, Coach Nicole. How are you doing today? Good. How are you guys doing? Everything's going pretty good. Uh, so what, far, so good. What did you guys think of the defensive performance uh, I thought it was improved. You know, every week we're getting better. Some really good things. I thought we tackled really well. You know, and I thought, for the most part, the passing game, which Washington State's really, really good at, and their quarterback's really good, I thought we contained them really well. Whenever you hold Washington State to 200-and-something yards, total offense, you're doing doing pretty good because they're very explosive. Well, you know, we, we still got to get more turnovers, but the ball, the ball, you know, we dropped two, two interceptions, and, and – uh, um, the ball's on the ground all the time, and, and our time will come. We're tackling well, we're running to the ball well. We're doing some really good things. We got to keep it up. What do you think is the biggest issue there with not getting as many turnovers in years past? I think people are doing a better job taking care of the football, and, and um, uh, I, I think also, you know, we're dropping some things. Where in the past we had guys catch that stuff. I think it's going to come though. I really do. I mean, I, I, our effort's really good. We, we're, we're, Doing a great job of attempting or, or attempting of, the, of, of stripping the ball his way up, the, as far as the number amount of uh, t- attempts, and and the guys are doing a great job tackling, knocking, knocking the heck out of people. So it's just it's just a matter of time. You have to be happy though when you do get a turnover. It's always Kyle Moore that seems to be involved in it. You know, so far, no question, he's been a big part of it. He's done a great job in the things we're asking him to do. He, he's, uh, you know, that position lends itself to doing a lot of things, and and sometimes he drops. And you know, when when, when he's a good athlete, he moves he moves really well. But when you're six six and with long arms, you, you take up a lot of space in the in the zones. And, and that's what's happening. The quarterback thinks he can get things in, but, but there's a 6'6 guy out in the flat doing a nice job with, with, with his arms, and, and he closes down those windows really well. I know you guys don't get too concerned with stats, but if you look at the last couple of games, the weak side linebacker has just been getting a ton of tackles. Is it something different you're doing? They're feeding a lot of ball carriers to that, that position? Or? Well, no, I, I think, you know, some of the fronts lend itself to having our will linebacker make a lot of plays. He's covered up quite a bit in, in our defenses. And, um, you know, that just that, that goes with the territory, and, and, and he's making his plays. And I, I think it's, it's a tribute to, to, obviously, Keith, but also to the other eight, six, seven, eight guys that are doing their job and forcing the ball back into him. And, you know, he's played the position for four years. He's feeling really comfortable. I think he really knows what he's doing. That's why he's playing so fast and, and, and getting so much production. But a lot to do, it, it's the scheme things and, and everybody doing their own, everybody doing their job and getting the ball back in there. Last one. Uh, what do you have to do differently preparing for a mobile quarterback like with Washington? You, you just you got to be really good on the edges. Um, you got to have a lot of eyes on the guy, and um, so everybody's got to do their job and not get reached. And be, it's still gap control, but you got to be extra extra careful of, of uh, doing a nice job, especially on the edges. And, and uh, so he can't break those those things. He's going to get some runs now. That's bottom line. But we, we got to do a nice job of getting off blocks and swarming the football. And when we do hit him, we need to we need to hit him in a manner where he doesn't want to carry the football very much. <laughs> well, thanks for your time, Coach. Good luck. You got it. Thank you. Thank you.